So subject, verb, object. In mm -hmm. Spanish, sujeto, verbo, complemento directo. And they always are together in English. You cannot separate them. For example, I like my job very much. You cannot say I like very much my job. This is not possible in English. Our guide spoke English fluently. I didn't use my phone yesterday. Do you eat meat every day? Easy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, second rule. So you have subject, verb, object. Then we have place, time. Okay, so place before time. For example, Ben walks to work every morning. I'm going to Paris on Monday. He lived in the same house for a long time. We need to be at the airport by 8 o'clock. Sarah gave me a lift home after the party. Give me a lift. Do you know? Medio. Uh, okay, lift. Literalmente, lift significa subida o subir. Pero es una expresión que significa llevarte en coche o, o moto o un sitio. ¿vale? So, she gave me a lift. Literalmente, me dio una subida. So, Sarah gave me a lift home after the party. Y nota que home no lleva preposición, ¿vale? Nunca se dice to home, ¿vale? Solamente home. You really shouldn't go to bed. So, ¿Cuándo se dice eh, at home? Vale, at home es cuando te refieres que estoy en casa. Uh -huh. Pero aún así puedes quitar at y también puedes decir I'm home. Uh -huh. So you could say I'm at home. I'm home. They are the same, yeah? Now, uh, so basically, subject, verb, object, place, time. However, uh, sometimes it's possible yeah, to put the time at the beginning for emphasis. For example, on Monday, I'm going to Paris. After the party, Sarah gave me a lift home. But this is not the normal order. This is just for emphasis, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's practice this. Did you see your friends yesterday? This is okay. Ben walks every morning to work. Incorrect. This is wrong. You should say Ben walks to work every morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. Uh... Joe doesn't like football very much. Perfect. Joe doesn't like football very much. Perfect. Doesn't like football very much. Mm -hmm. Next one. Uh, that, uh, Dan won the race easily. Dan easily. won the race. Uh, one, one on the highway, please. Mm -hmm. Porque no has bajado. Porque no he podido acabar de trabajar ahora, un poco. Venga, que tengo un inglés. ¿Alguien Luego te le busco, ¿vale? Venga, luego te le busco. Cierra ahí, anda. Cierra. Ok, Javi, No te preocupes, está bien. Dan won the race easily. Mm -hmm. So, win one. Okay. Uh, five. Uh, uh, Tania speaks mm -hmm. German. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, quite. Mm -hmm. Quite well. So, is this okay or not? Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This is okay. This is quite quite well. Mm -hmm. Six. Have you seen Chris recently? Exactly. Have you seen Chris recently? Have you seen Chris recently? Mm -hmm. Seven. I borrow uh, mm -hmm. 
Macron. Frans. Ok, Borrow, do you remember? Eh, Pedir prestado. Pedir prestado. prestado. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pido prestado? Eh, some money. I borrow some money. So I borrow some money from okay. my friend. Uh -huh. Eight. Eh, 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 please mm -hmm. don't ask that question again. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Nine. Eh, eh, I hate. I ate. Mm -hmm. I ate my breakfast quickly and went mm -hmm. Exactly. Ten. Uh, did you invite? Uh, did you invite to to the party a lot of people? Okay. Not okay. Incorrect. It is wrong. Uh, did you invite a lot of people to the party? Mm -hmm. Did you invite a lot of people to the party? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eleven. Uh, some watch it, watches. Mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, TV uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. Sam watches TV all the time. Hicimos watches porque hablamos de él, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, watch, I watch, she, he watches. Yeah? Twelve. Uh, does Kevin play football every weekend? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, does Kevin play football every weekend? Okay, this is too easy, yeah? Let's make it more difficult. <laughs> this is way too easy for you. Wait a moment. Now we're going to talk about the adverbs. Where we place the adverbs. So, adverb has two positions. So it could be... Uh, let me... So it could be before the verb or after the verb. So it has two positions, yeah? Mm -hmm. Before or after the verb, okay? Now, most of the time, it's going to be before the verb, yeah? This is the most common one. For example, Emily always drives to work. Always, siempre. Before the verb, yeah? We were mm -hmm. feeling very tired and we were also hungry. However, here, notice here, it's after the verb. This is like an exception. The meeting will probably be canceled. So here it's between these two verbs. So when you have two verbs, you're gonna have it in the middle, okay? This is gonna be the position, yeah? Mm -hmm. Will adverb be, yeah? Will probably be, okay. So let's take a look. Emily always drives to work before the verb, yeah? Always. Mm -hmm. I almost fell as I was going down the stairs. Almost, casi, yeah? Before the verb. Now, so most of the time, before the verb. Mm -hmm. Also, when you have have to, before the verb, for example. Joe never phones me. I always have to phone him. Now, when do you place it after the verb? So when you have this, am, um, is, are, was, where, it's going to be after the verb. Examples. We were feeling very tired and we were also hungry. So where also, yeah? You always, yeah, you're, yeah, you always late. You're never on time. The traffic isn't usually, so usually, normalmente, as bad as it, as it was this morning. Okay. So when you have can or should, must, 
doesn't, don't, will, is after. Okay? For example, I can never remember her name. Claire doesn't usually drive to work. Are you definitely going away next week? The meeting will probably be cancelled. Yeah? And the same happens when you have half, it's going to be after. Especially if you mean have been, have gone, have, yeah? Mm -hmm. Not when you mean possession. Okay? So if you, if you mean I have a car, it's going to be uh, uh, before the verb. So, you've, so this is half, you've always been very kind to me. Jack can't cook. He can't even, ni siquiera, even, boil an egg. Do you still, todavía, do you still work for the same company? The house was only, so only, yeah, was only, built a year ago, and uh, it has, yeah, it is already falling down. So with this verb, you have two options, before or after. What is going to be before? When you mean have to, or when you mean I have a dog, I have a car, I have something. It's going to be after the verb when you have another verb. I have been, I have eaten, I have mm, driven, yeah? So, I have never seen, I have never been, yeah? <laughs> but I always have to do it. Okay. Now, the word probably is a little bit special. When you have a negative, it's going to be before the negative. Notice this. I probably won't see you. So probably won't. But I'll probably not see you. Yeah? Okay, the same happened with all and both. They are considered adverbs in English. Let's take a look at some examples. We all felt ill after the meal. My parents are both teachers. Sarah and Jane have both applied for the job. My friends are all going out tonight. Okay, let's practice this. Um, okay, so Helen drives always to work. Incorrect, wrong. Ellie always tries to work. Yeah? I clean the house and also cook the dinner. Okay, so before the very yeah? also cooked. Number three. Uh, I have usually a shower in the morning. Okay. Not okay. I usually have a shower in the morning. Why? Because uh, here, have, you don't have another verb. Have present perfect, no? Exactly. Only when you have present perfect, it's going to be after the verb have. Okay? Four. Um, um, I am usually angry when I get home from uh, work. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Five. Steve uh, uh, gets. Uh, espera. Steve gets. Uh, Steve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know Harley Ever? Harley Ever. Do you know? No. Casi no. nunca. Casi nunca. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, where is, where is, 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 is,
Mm -hmm. Steve hardly ever gets angry. Good. Casi nunca se enfada. Okay. Six. I call him and I send also an email. Okay. Not okay. And I... I also said before the verb, okay? Right? Also antes, said. Y por qué before? Antes habíamos visto que era después, ¿no? Vale, pero depende del verbo. Ah, vale. ¿Cuándo se ponía después? Cuando el verbo to be, ¿no? Uh -huh. O cuando el present perfect, ¿no? En estos casos, ¿no? O verbos modales. Normalmente antes del verbo. ¿Vale? Seven. You don't listen. I. Uh -huh. I always have to repeat things. Exactly. I always have to repeat things. Uh -huh. uh, Eight. I. Um, I. I have, ne I have never worked. I have no. never no worked in a factory. I have never worked in a factory. Mm -hmm. no. uh, I never have enough time. It's okay. okay. Enough. 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 Mm -hmm. I never have enough time. I'm always busy. Mm -hmm. Ten. Uh, when I when I arrive, my friends uh, uh, were were there already or were already were already there. My friends were already there. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna. Uh, where are you? Activities. Where are you? My goodness. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna share this. Okay. Uh, right. I sent him I sent him an invitation last week. He hasn't replied yet. I sent him an invitation weeks ago and he still hasn't replied. Okay, notice the difference here. If I say this, I'm a little bit angry because I expected the person to have sent the invitation before. Okay, I'm I, I'm angry. I'm a little bit annoyed, yeah? I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. Here, I just say I I don't have a reply yet. Okay, it's a little bit different. Still, it's a stronger. It's like you're a little bit angry. Do you know? Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. Let's practice this. So we're gonna practice till anymore. So we have here a person five years ago and now. So his name is Paul. And here we have sentences he used to say, uh, sentences he says now. Yeah. So I'll travel a lot five years ago. I'll travel a lot now. So he still travels a lot. Todavía viaja mucho. Five years ago he said, I work in a shop. Now he says, I work in a hospital, so he doesn't work in a shop anymore. Ya no trabaja en una tienda. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to make sentences with a still or anymore according to the situation. Yeah? So, mm -hmm. number three. Uh, he, uh -huh. he still. Uh, 
Bright point. Point. Okay. Point. Are you sure? Uh, gate up, breathing point. Uh, what is gave I up? Don't, I don't understand. Gate, gate up. Give up? Don't you know? Give, give up. Okay, write it down. Very important. Give up. Stop. Dejar. Abandonar. Rendirse. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no. Vale. You cannot say that uh, because that is not true. Uh, he he doesn't breed pon, pons uh, anymore. Okay, he doesn't write points uh, anymore. Can you he repeat? Doesn't, he doesn't write uh, he doesn't write points points anymore. He doesn't write points anymore. Mm -hmm. Or any longer. You could also say that, okay? Any longer. Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, 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 he doesn't. He, he doesn't want to. Uh, no. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, that's the significa no. Él no es. He doesn't be a teacher anymore. Mm, wait a moment. I want to be a teacher. Quiero ser profesor. Sí. Five years ago. I want to be the teacher now. So, no. The situation is still the same. So, sí. eh, no puede decir eh, ya no. Todavía, ¿no? Ah, eh, ¿Sí? maestro, eh, he, he still eh, to be a teacher. No. He still be a teacher. No. Try again. He still want to be a teacher. Okay, he still eh, want... Want... Sí, sí, sí. Once, once he still wants to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. He still wants. Don't forget the S. It's very important. He still wants. Why do we say wants? Mm -hmm. Why? Why wants? Why not want? ¿Por qué le ponemos la S? Eh, por tercera persona. Exactly. Tercera persona singular. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. uh, I interesting police. Uh, yeah, no. mm. sí. so interested in politics. Uh, one moment, please. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't want more. I don't want more pollo, but I have only one. I don't want more. Come on. Eh, I know. Eh, eh, he doesn't. He doesn't. Are you sure? He doesn't. He doesn't interest in politics uh, anymore. Okay, wait a moment. What is the verb? Uh, he doesn't is. He doesn't is. Are you sure? ¿Cómo se dice él no está o él no es? He. Joder, he. He doesn't interest. Good. In in politics uh, anymore. Okay. Pronunciation. Okay, not interested, but interested. Interesting. Interesting. And politics. 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 Can I repeat? He isn't interested in politics. Any? Anymore. Anymore. Or any? Longer. Okay, can you read this one? One more time? He isn't interested in politics any longer. Perfect. Way to go. Six. Uh, he is still is single. He is. Remember, still is an adverb. Yeah. And with the he verb to be, is it's after the verb, not before the verb. Okay? So mm -hmm. he's still single. Can I repeat? He. He's a still singer. Single. 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 Mm -hmm. Single. Seven. 
Fishing, fishing, I go fishing. Eh, él ya no. Eh, he hasn't been fishing. Uh -huh. Cuando digo hasn't, es porque hablo de la duración. He ya doesn't aquí. have. Ok, he doesn't. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice pescar? Eh, he doesn't fishing. No, no. Go, he, go he, fishing, he, yeah. He doesn't go fishing anymore. Perfect. He doesn't go fishing anymore. He doesn't go fishing any longer. Mm. O, also possible. He, wait a moment. Remember, you could also say this. He no longer goes fishing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you read this? He no longer goes fishing. Okay. Eight. Yeah. Uh, beard. What is beard? Beard. 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 Uh, Barba, no? Sí. He, he doesn't have beard anymore. Okay, he doesn't have a beard anymore. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a beard anymore. Okay. Good job. I'm going to practice. Uh, okay, so we're going to do this. So we're going to change the sentence. We're going to use present perfect like this. For example, it's still raining. Okay, you have to say the opposite, yeah? It is still raining. Mm -hmm. It hasn't stopped raining yet. Yeah, todavía no. No ha dejado todavía de llover. So you have to use a similar, sorry, you have to use a similar meaning sentence using not yet, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and you have to use one of these verbs, okay? Fish, finish, go, stop, take off, wake up, okay? Money. So Gary is still here. So he... Gary is still here. He... Uh... He hasn't. He hasn't. Uh, he hasn't go. Okay. Remember, you have to use past participle. So go, go. went, gone. He hasn't go. gone yet. Yet. He hasn't gone yet. Three. Repairing they, the road. Mm -hmm. They, uh, they have. They haven't. They haven't. Uh, uh, phone. Uh -oh. Ping pong phone. Phone. Pound, no? Uh -oh. uh, he, they haven't fin yet. Finished. Ah, finished. They haven't finished. Uh, finish. Carry on. Repair. Repair. Repairing. Repairing yet. The, uh, the road yet. Road yet. One more time. They haven't finished repairing, repairing the road yet. Okay, repairing, repairing, repairing. repairing. Do you understand? Eh, ellos. Todavía eh, ellos no han finalizado. Terminado eh, de reparar. Uh -huh. The road que acá acá eh, was that mean the eh, was that the road mean? Eh, I don't remember. Yeah, carretera. Eso carretera. Mm -hmm. Road <laughs> four. Uh, the children no está. are uh, still are in... mm -hmm. the, chi the children aren't wake up. No. The yet. children haven't woken up yet. Remember, you have to use past participle. Okay, so it's wake up, 
woke up, woken up. Yeah. Five. Katie's. Uh, Kate Hasen has uh, phone phone found mm -hmm. uh, yeah looking for a yo yeah. no 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 look look no no ella todavía ella todavía no ha encontrado no puede ser todavía no ha encontrado buscar eh, she hasn't found eh, a job, a job yet. Yet. She hasn't found found a job job yet. Job yet. No, tiene su nombre más fuerte. Job 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 job. Mm -hmm. job. She hasn't found a job yet. Mm -hmm. Six. Eh, what's that wondering mean? Wondering. I'm still one. Todavía me pregunto. Ah, todavía me pregunto. Eh, wondering. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Decide. Okay, decide. D. Yeah. Decided uh, what to do uh, yet. Mm -hmm. Good job. Seven. Uh, the plane uh, has an, mm -hmm. uh, took, took off uh -oh. on the. Okay, take off, took off. Uh -huh. Taken off. Taken, taken, taken off on the on the run, runway. Yet. No, no, no. You don't really need that. Yet. Ah, bueno, no sé. Todavía no, no has pegado, ¿no? Todavía no has pegado. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to read all these sentences. You tell me in Spanish, okay? Let's yeah. start with this one. It is still raining. It's still raining. Eh... Está lloviendo todavía. Uh -huh. It has stopped raining yet. Eh, no ha dejado de llover ya. Eh, eh, no, no, todavía. ya no. Todavía. No ha dejado de llover todavía. Todavía no deja de llover. ¿Mm? Remember the position. It's very important in English. Uh -huh. Gary is still here. Gary está aquí todavía. Uh -huh. He hasn't gone yet. Él no se ha ido todavía. Uh -huh. They're still repairing the road. Ellos están reparando todavía la, la carretera. Mm -hmm. They haven't finished repairing the road yet. Ellos no han finalizado de reparar la carretera todavía. Uh, yo diría terminada. ¿no? Todavía no han terminado de reparar la carretera. Ya voy a terminar, ¿Mm? ¿no? Ok. Your, your son is, is impatient. Me dejas dos minutos que ya acabo. Hacemos otros dos deberes. Sí, ahora les hacemos. Ahora abajo, ¿vale? He's so cute. The children are still asleep. El niño, el niño está dormido todavía. Los niños. Los niños, eso. Remember? One child, two children, yeah? Mm -hmm. They haven't woken up yet. Ella no se ha levantado todavía. Uh -huh. Kate is still looking for a job. Kate está buscando un trabajo todavía. Todavía uh -huh. está buscando trabajo. Uh -huh. He hasn't found a job yet. Ella no ha encontrado trabajo todavía. Uh -huh. I'm still wondering what to do. Todavía me pregunto qué hacer. Uh -huh. I haven't decided what to do yet. Yo no he decidido qué hacer todavía. Uh -huh. The plane is still waiting on the runway. Okay. Runway uh -huh. sería la pista de aterrizaje, ¿vale? Uh -huh. El avión está esperando todavía en la pista. Uh -huh. y... It hasn't taken off yet. Eh, no ha despegado todavía. Ok, good job. Okay. ok, do you want to finish already? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Good okay. job, by the way.